Nearly 10 years ago, the Pritzker Prize winning architect Shigeru Bon went in front of the Landmarks Commission in New York City with a mission. And that mission was to get something approved in Tribeca that had never been done before. A landmark on top of a landmark. The cast iron house at 67 Franklin, originally built in 1881, had the opportunity to become one of the most high-end luxury condominium projects in New York City history. But on top was gonna be something that no one had ever seen before. Something so special that it took nearly 10 years to create. And today, for the first time, I bring to you the penthouse at 67 Franklin. Welcome. So let's start here. Penthouse East. Four bedroom, convertible to five because there's an amazing den or home office, however you want to use it. Three and a half bathroom, duplex, 20 foot ceilings, all of this amazing open space. It's incredible. Just over 3,800 square feet on the interior, 1,531 square feet on the exterior with the grill. And it's huge. I mean, look how cool this is with the steps and the stone, this huge open terrace that's just right off the living space. Like, you can't find this. You can't. How many times have we done property tours, especially in lower Manhattan, where we're saying, okay, now let's go upstairs to see the roof, or let's go out onto this little balcony, and that's about it. Now, this, is, this is like I'm in LA. This is like I'm in Miami. This is a penthouse on the beach, except we're on Franklin Street. We're on the stones. We are where it all began in New York City. It is amazing. And this outdoor space runs all the way around. Now let's go inside. This is just one of the coolest spaces that I've ever seen in New York City. No one builds this. Like the volumetric square footage, the glass, like all of the details, even down to like the lighting and the ceiling and the HVAC, like the linear diffusers, all the, everything here is so perfect. It's just so cool. I don't know, I, I see so many apartments every day. I've seen so many homes in my career. It's rare for me to be wowed, but when I first walked into this space, I was wowed. Like my jaw literally fell down and I had to go get it and have it surgically reattached. Can you see these scars? No, I don't think you can. I go to a good guy. I'm just kidding. I've never had plastic surgery in my life. Please don't make that a thing. Huge open living space. Like I said, this wingspan here where the glass totally opens up is 80 feet. You've also got your fifth bedroom or your den, the way we've modeled it, slash study, home office. Great open dining space, living space, and then this gorgeous, incredibly modern, very sleek kitchen. Now the kitchen has a full suite of Gaganau appliances. So you've got your oven, you've got your stove, you've got the Gaganau hood that pulls out, vents to the outside, which is amazing. You've got your deep sink, which one has a pro disposer which is your incinerator, and then your other kind of rinse sink here, which is awesome that it's in one. A lot of times you do two sinks, you don't really need it. Dishwasher, everything is here ready to go. Tons of storage space. And then behind us, you have a full laundry room, a big, big room, side by side washer dryer with a slop sink and enough room to do all the storage and hanging space that you could possibly want. Go crazy with your bad cleaning self. And then behind me here is our first bedroom, which is an ensuite, great for a teenager, great for in-laws, great as a guest room, great as an office too. And speaking of office, I actually do wanna show you the den space over here because this living room is humongous in Penthouse East. And it's got this amazing L shape that gives you what is ordinarily like a primary suite style room that is now a great viewing space. You can put a TV on this wall the way we did you just sit here and you look at your views, you look at the outdoor space, you're grilling burgers and you're checking on them. Maybe you're vegan and you're grilling corn and you're checking on your corn. Whatever you want, you can do from right here. This actually might be my new favorite room. I love the living room and I love those 20 foot ceilings, but I love how like dramatic the space is with the ceilings and the windows because I've never seen anything like this before in New York City. But then I love how cozy this space is. And maybe you could do like a nice dark velvet paint to it or a wallpaper to really play on the different moods that you might be feeling during the day. And then look how open the space is. Like 
I know it's hard to see on video. The only structural column in this entire living space is this bad boy right here. You go to any other tower, anywhere else, and you're gonna have structural columns in the corner, one right there, one right there. This is all open space. Like there is, I mean, did you notice this? Like this is, this is just a curtain. There is no wall here. Right here, you have a series of glass doors that I opened for you before we started doing this tour. And you just push them over like a baby could push them. They're so easy and they run alongside these tracks that line up perfectly and they're so seamless so that you can have that amazing indoor outdoor lifestyle in New York City, which is, I mean, like show me another place that looks like this in New York. Leave a link in the comments. Show it to me if you can find another listing that's like this. I don't see it. I don't see it. You know why? Because it doesn't exist. This place is straight fire. Let's go upstairs. Upstairs, you have your bedroom suite. So we have three full bedrooms, two guests, two kids, plus a primary suite that is going to blow your mind, and one big, beautiful, double vanity bathroom that is shared by these two bedrooms. Let me show you these bedrooms. Typically, I don't take you into the guest rooms because we just have so much else to focus on, but these are actually great. Great ceilings, great closet space. They're super cute. And then you actually have this shared balcony space. This little triangle corner space where each bedroom can have access to the outdoor space. You have a glass railing. I just think it's really great. Just to be able to step outside, take a phone call, live your life a little bit. I think it's a lot of fun. It's one of the little details that our developer of 67 Franklin put into this building that goes the extra mile. And now the primary suite. And then you've got your primary. Now I know what you're thinking. This is the most beautiful primary suite you've ever seen, and you'd be right. Not only do you have an excess amount of storage space and closet space, here, here, here. You also have a full dressing room on the other side, but all of these sliding glass partitions can close off to give you that extra privacy, or you can leave them all open, just like downstairs, so you get all of that natural light, depending on how many people are living with you in the apartment at the time. I would actually come up here and then I'd look down over all my friends and family and clients, and this is where I would deliver my holiday speeches. This is a year of amazing memories because I bought this apartment. That's what I would say if I bought this apartment. And then I'd go on to a bunch of other things and I'd wonder why no one brought me any alcohol or food. And they're like, well, no, you bought this whole apartment. You bring us stuff. Anyway, right, now follow me over here into the primary dressing room. The dressing room is actually shaped a bit like the living room. It's a big L. So you've got this whole wall of hanging space that you can completely decorate. And then you have a whole sitting space here. Or it could be more hanging space. I'm imagining maybe shoes here. Maybe you have a little makeup station here. There's a lot you can do. And it's windowed. How many times have you had your own private dressing room that is this big, that has a windowed view out onto the streets of Tribeca? And then not to be outdone, you have your primary bathroom gorgeous single cut countertops that blend perfectly into the oval sinks. This is really, really hard to do. Edged out for the toilets, you've got your window, you have your big, beautiful floating egg. You need to have your floating tub. And then this just isn't a bathroom. This is a spa. This is a wet room. Glass partition here, and then you've got your hidden drains in the floor. So you're taking your shower and the water is just effortlessly disappearing and circulating below the stone. Really, really, really high end, top of the line. And that's it. That is Penthouse East at 67 Franklin. If you're a resident of Tribeca or if you've been in New York City anytime in the last couple years and you came down to this part of Tribeca and you looked up, you were probably wondering, wow, what's coming there? What is that? And here it is. It's ready for you. One of the most spectacular penthouses in New York City is now on the market with Sirhans. Thank you so much for watching.